war has constantly prompted us in developing new weapons to stay ahead in the arms race. With new advances in science, newer and more sophisticated weapons are being used. Assault rifles have always been a decisive factor in battle, which made it indispensable to ripen them in every possible way. Years of experimenting and humanizing have given us some very fine assault rifles. There are a lot of reasons people love their assault rifles, and it doesn't much matter to them what the haters say. For some, the gun is a tool, a finely tuned machine that can cut down an animal or intruder or pierce a distant target with a single precise shot. For others, it's a toy, a sleek beast of black plastic and metal that delivers a gratifying blast of adrenaline. With hundreds of rifles to choose from, it can be difficult to decide which firearm will best suit your needs. All of them have disadvantages and advantages, and some are no longer used and are the property of collectors. To figure out which assault rifle is best, we have compiled a list of the most popular and convenient choices. There are hundreds of companies out there making semi-auto sporting rifles in the AR style. But how do you improve on an AR? If you're Steyr, you start with the world-famous AUG and create a civilian version. The Steyr AUG A3. The original bullpup, the AUG takes the same 16-inch barrel found in the AR and recesses it into the stock, leaving you with a rifle that's a good 7 to 9 inches shorter than the typical AR without sacrificing accuracy, which makes it perfect for confined positions or clearing a room. Famous for its modular concept, the AUG can be quickly disassembled into six main component groups without tools. The AUG is extremely durable, needing virtually no cleaning or oils, and adaptable to extreme adverse conditions unlike the typical AR that needs regular oiling and maintenance to stay reliably functional. There's a reason over 20 militaries around the world rely on the Steyr AUG. If you want a durable, fun-to-shoot military-style semi-auto and don't want the same old cookie-cutter AR that all the couch commandos out there have, you want the original Bullpup Steyr AUG A3. to talk to you a little bit about the HK MR556 and MR762 rifles. The MR556 and the MR762 are the civilian versions of the HK416 and 417 rifles. 
Both the MR556 and MR762 are piston driven guns, offering you a cleaner and cooler running rifle even after extended firing sessions. Both rifles feature HK's legendary hammer forged cannon grade steel barrels known for their superior longevity and accuracy. The MR762 is also available in a long range package which includes a Harris bipod and a Leupold tactical scope and other long range accessories. Both the MR556 and MR762 feature a four rail Picatinny handguard capable of mounting a number of accessories. The MR556 and MR762 rifles are the choice of the HK shooting team as well as civilian and law enforcement officers around the country. Introducing the Barrett Rec 10. No corners cut, no detail overlooked, and built from the ground up for the world's most demanding users. Every component of the Rec 10 has been engineered to guarantee combat reliability, durability, and accuracy that shooters expect from the Barrett name. Each variant of the Rec 10 features an optimized direct impingement gas system that minimizes recoil and allows for both suppressed and unsuppressed fire. The upper and lower receivers are machined from billet 7075 T6 aluminum and feature ambidextrous controls. The slimline free float aluminum handguard utilizes M-lock accessory mounting slots and a full length Picatinny top rail for sights and electro optics. Available in 308 Winchester and 65 Creedmoor, the Rec 10 stands above all others on the hunt, at the range, or in the fight. Today I'm very excited to talk about the DDM4A1. The M4A1 is renowned for its durability and its utilization throughout the special operations community over the last 10 years. The DDM4A1 rifle was designed to withstand the harshest conditions that an end user could throw at it. This is the reason Special Operations Command chose this rifle as its duty rifle. This rifle ships standard with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel with an extended flash hider, making the overall length of the barrel 16 inches and therefore not an NFA item. The gun also ships with our RIS-2 rail system. In this configuration, you're seeing it in flat dark earth, but you can also get it in black, and then you can also get the entire rifle in mil-spec plus. The reason the RIS-2 is so reliable and durable is number one, it's very, very robustly built. It's a larger rail system than the rest of our lineup and it has a much more robust bolt-up system in the back of the rifle. The rifle is also going to ship with our Dang of the Fence rail panels which make for a very comfortable feel on those Picatinny rail sections. Much like the other rifles that we have in our lineup, they're all going to ship with an ambidextrous selector lever. This particular rifle is going to ship with a mil-spec trigger and our new Gang of the Fence grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. I can guarantee you, if you give this weapon a chance, you will not be disappointed in the reliability, durability, and the accuracy.